So just about set now and on the mound for Cleveland in this one Tanner Bybee and for some reason he's not quite as effective here in front of his home crowd Chris. Yeah Boog and the fans are well aware of that for him he's got to just not press and go out there and say hey I'm just treating this like any start home Leading on the road tonight, it doesn't Kansas matter City. my job is to focus on that hitter. catcher's mitt attack Michael. hitters and just try to move yeah. through a ball game so if he can find that kind of focus nope. doesn't matter where he's pitching because he has good enough stuff to go out there and win a ball game first pitch 640 the 1 0 rolled softly but that goes foul the one one is fouled off a little early on that fastball I'm sure the pitcher taking a note look for an off speed pitch on this next one hard ground ball base now. So a man on base to start the inning. Batting second, the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. And there's a foul ball. there and the count one and two I don't like to say he wasted a pitch I think that was a purpose pitch change the eye level have him look up now go back exactly where you want to go that one missed Massey on at first nobody out that one misses all three really good take especially with two strikes Lifted in the air right center field. Brennan moving under this one. Makes the grab one away. Batting third. The first baseman number nine. And here now the lineup for the Royals. And a key piece, a guy having a big season for them, Salvador Perez. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring hey. position and just see, is he truly oh, a machine or not? Man at first, one away. Hit weakly on the ground towards second. Good feed, that's Out. one. Over to first, oh, safe. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And a good eye there. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. And a swing and a miss there. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Thomas makes the grab, and that's the inning. So one left for Kansas City, and now the Guardians will see what their bats can do in a scoreless ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back now at Progressive Field. And towing the slab here, Michael Waka. What do you have on him? 
Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. Stephen Kwan in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Pitch is in the dirt, 2 and 0. Oh. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Isbell makes the grab, one down. Here's the Guardians lineup now. Of course, one of the best players in the game today, Jose Ramirez. And Boog, he's a big-time run producer for these guys, man. Leading the team in homers, runs batted in, doing damage on the regular, man. Making opposing pitchers just sweat out there. It's kind of fun to watch. Get ready for a show when he steps into the box. One Number 10 in now. Takes ball one off the plate. One down, base is empty. There's the strike. Ball. Missed with a changeup. Ball two. You got two balls, one strike. Righty to the plate. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. One out, base is empty. Pitch in the dirt, and the count's full. Swing and a miss struck him out. It's a strikeout, but they'll be in good shape if they make their outs as difficult as that one. Those grinding ABs take a toll on the pitcher as the game goes on. Here's Jose Ramirez. He's always a threat at the plate. He's been flexing his power in the majors for That's a long ball. time now. His first career home run was to right field right here inside Yankee Stadium in 2014. The right fielder that day for the Yankees, Ichiro Suzuki. Even he couldn't catch that one. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a foul straight back. But why to kick the pitch? So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him. And that's that. Guardians turned away in the first. We played one in Cleveland with no score on the show. here in Cleveland all set for the start of the inning and to the play for Kansas City MJ Melendez now the right hander ready to go still no score Melendez goes six foot one hitting fifth in today's lineup and he was a second round pick back in 2017 ball to strike that one fouled off. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. That one lifted to left. Got it. Nice grab. One down. Now it's Hunter Renfro. First yep, offering misses badly for ball one. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Quan makes the grab on the run. That is seven. The second baseman, Adam 
Two outs, bases empty. Digging in, Adam Frazier. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Feeling for the wall, makes the catch in foul ground. Nothing doing for the Royals. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Now here is Josh Naylor. The first baseman. Josh Naylor. Waka back to work. And that's inside, off the inside edge. Ball one. Just ball missed. Two. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. No, Patty Johnson to some boot, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. Does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? Next offering is in for a strike. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. Next offering down in the dirt. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small oh and a great stop to his knee the throw on the money nice play look at the commitment to make the play down on the ground from the knees that's not just arm strength guys that's core strength as well look at that rocket across the diamond outstanding job and now the right fielder will brennan he's been tearing it up at the plate recently batting over 300 so far well, this month first pitch just misses Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Rip towards third. Tosses to first. And that quickly, two away. Batting six. The second baseman, Andres. Here's Andres Jimenez. And there's the strike. That one's in there. 0-2 oh, now. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And that gets down for a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Here's Lane Thomas. The seven field. Lane Thomas. Ball. In the dirt, but kept close. Ball one, no sight. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Two balls. And a no pitch sight. out, but no steal, and it's ball two. Move to first. Hey. Jimenez gets back easily. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Bo Naylor in the on deck circle. That just walked missed. He walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. So to a board and two out scoreless game. Bo Naylor at the plate now. 
and immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Jimenez, the lead runner out at second. Thomas at first, two out of the inning. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. Line, and that's a base hit. And they strike first as they take a 1 0 lead. Just kind of slice that one into center. Big swing of the bat right there to give him the lead. That was clutch. You we'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Here's Brian Rocchio. The shortstop takes a ball. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Cleveland up around looking for more. And another ball. Next pitch is outside. Stephen Kwan waiting for a turn at the plate. Two on, two outs. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And right back to the mound. Slings to first. They limit the damage here. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Here in Cleveland, now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Paul DeYoung. The pitch. Come back her to the mound. Throws to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. The center fielder, number 28, Kyle. And now it's Kyle Isbell. Outfield playing pretty shallow. That's in there. Going one. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. The 0 2. Battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. That just misses. Gonna count one and two. It's a good take. Good job to fight that one off. Left hand batter waits. Breaking ball inside. Now two and two. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. And a swing and a miss. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. Massey, the next to hit, takes outside. This is inside. Two balls, no strikes. That's a little bit low. Bobby Witt Jr. Next up for Kansas City. Two outs. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So, if all down the line or into the gap, 
will produce a two out RBI and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Here's a swing and a drive left field and he knew it. That's one way to quiet the crowd. Is 26th of the year. It's 2 1. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Del no, Boot, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead. Batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Hauls it in to end the inning. Two run shot for the Royals this inning. And the home team down a run. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the bottom of the third. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. And the right hander back to work. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Over to first. He's out. One up, one down. The bat, number 10. Designated hitter. Wow, Singy, what a throw. We got to take another look at it, but this time with the numbers from StatCast. Yeah, Boog, that's about as good as it gets. You'll see the hardest throwing infielders reach 90 plus on throws across the diamond. So. He's pretty much right there with the best infield arms in the game. That was a rocket of a throw right there. Number 10 hey. now at the plate as he swings through strike oh, one. one. And that's oh, off inside. the inside edge. And one and one. Right through there for a strike. One ball. The Two Guardians strikes. trailing by a run here in the last half of the third. That's Just outside. Three. And it's two and two. Aye. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Rob Here's Jose Ramirez. He's over one. That ball. misses the zone, and that's ball one. Oh, Just man. missed. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Two outs, bases empty. That one misses, and that's ball three. And there's the automatic. And a pitch. There's a strike. I got three and two. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And they'll do it again. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Fights it off, you'll see another. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third. Foul ball in a row. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. But no chance to get him. 
And he'll take first on the strikeout. So he's able to reach first base despite the strikeout, and that extends the inning. Kind of a tough turn of events for the defense there. Yeah, that's maybe a little bit of a morale killer for a second. You think you're about to go hit, but really quickly you have to refocus and be ready for the next play. We'll see if they can work around it. And now it's Josh Naylor. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And that will end the inning. So no runs, no hits, and one error, but they leave him stranded. On to inning number four. It's the Royals two and the Guardians one. And we're back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Salvador Perez. Perez. The wind of the pitch. That one finds the zone, and it's 0 and 1. And that's a little bit high. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound, he's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. The pitch. So now 1 and 2. One ball, two strikes. Out towards left center, sizing this one up. And there's one down. Now that the left field. And next up for the Royals, MJ Melendez. Fly to left his first time. Just oh, off the friend. outside edge, ball one. Right through there for a strike. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the pitch. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. And he deals. Bounce to the left side, and it's through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now, that right here. now it's Hunter Renfro. Renfro. Hey. That one finds the corner. 0-1. Righty delivers. Pitch misses outside. One and one. Bybee with a move to first. Melendez dives back in safely. Melendez stands at first with one out. the pitch fouls it off still one and two here comes a pitch on the ground the first oh great stop throws to second for one to first not in time Great effort there. Here's Adam Frazier. First time up was a pop out. Adam. Misses oh, off the time. inside, and it's one to know. High fly ball out of the left center field. Frazier retired. 
And that is that. So one hit is all they get. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Royals two and the Guardians one. Back now at Progressive Field. Now it's the right fielder, Will Brennan. The right fielder, Will Brennan. The pitch. And a foul ball. You know, these Guardians doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. Next offering down low and in the dirt. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Stays alive. Another one, two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. And stepping in is the speedy Andres Jimenez. Singled and scored his first time. That one finds the zone. It's 0 1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Next oh, offering dude. is down low. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And up next for Cleveland, Lane Thomas. He reached out a walk his first time. Not even close there. And that's ball one. Pretty smart not to serve something up for him right there. He's really good at hitting the first pitch. Home team down a run. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Now move to first, and he's back in standing. Kicks and fires. Off nope. the mark there. Two and one. Way to lay off that pitch down. Runner on the go. And fouled off. Two, two down. And another ball. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Bo Naylor to bat next. Payoff pitch. And ball four to a board. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. First and second, one out. Now here is Bo Naylor. That's a strike. Going one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Two on, one out. Three. Swings and misses. Struck him out. The batter number four. Now at the plate, Just Brian five. Rocchio. Rounded out his first time. That clips a corner. Hey. 
now one and one. Two on, two outs. All two. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Ball three. In the dirt. Tag safe. And a wild pitch, and both runners are in scoring position. Late swing, foul to the left. Two outs. Smoked on the ground a second. Frazier on the first, in time. That's the third out, inning over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Royals two and the Guardians one. Ready now for the fifth the inning. Boy. Down the third baseman, the third baseman. Paul DeYoung. Paul DeYoung. DeYoung measures six feet even, 205 pounds, and he was drafted in the Paul fourth Warren round right. back in 2015. Right-hander kicks deals. And yeah, there's a the ball. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. There's the strike. Two and one now. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. And that one missing low. And he walked him. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Kyle Isbell steps in for the Royals. Went down on strikes his first time through. That one outside. And that is ball one. Fastball for a strike. Nobody out, runner at first. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck, right field. That one back there. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. And boy, do they catch a break. Otherwise, you're looking at runners around the bases and probably a run that scores. So the lineup flips over. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. That one inside. Ball one. And a pitch. Hammer could be extra bases. One runs in. Now the second run is in. It's 4-1. And he's got a double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So up now for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. He's already homered in this game. There's a swing and a drive. And it hits the top of the wall. Coming home. Relay throw home. The tag, and he's safe. This offense is on fire. Three extra base hits in a row. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it.
turn things over to the southpaw, Tim Heron. Left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year, so this seems like a calculated move. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, these Royals really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. That misses. Now 2-0. Oh. Witt at second with nobody out. Foul ball there. Man at second. Fouls one off. Two and two. Outside. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Next is the Royals catcher, Salvador Perez. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Fastball for a strike. Gets the outside corner with that one. Oh, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. One out and a runner at second. He's trying for third. Out to short. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. One away, runners at first and third. Here's the left fielder, MJ Melendez. That one's in there. Strike one. Runners are at the corners, one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball, double play. That one misses, and it's one and two. One ball, well, he missed strike, badly yeah. with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And that ball evens the count. And there's two down. Hunter Renfro at the plate. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Ground ball up the middle. On to Jimenez. That ends the inning and they limit the damage. Three runs on four hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Royals five and the Guardians one. We head to the bottom of the fifth. So in now for Cleveland, Stephen Kwan. The why to kick the pitch. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. Movement in the bullpen. Michael Lorenzen getting loose out there. Stratton also throwing. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. One ball, two strikes. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. 
just fastball that got away from him there. He didn't have the right finish to it. Good extension that he needed to get to his target. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Kicks and deals. And that one is in the dirt. Now one and two. And downstairs. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. And the righty deals. And that one hit to first. And foul ball. 2-2 now. On the ground to third. Slides for the stop. Gathers and throws, and it beats him. What a play. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now it's Jose Ramirez. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boog, light tower power. That's right. Melendez drifts towards it. He's got it, and there's two away. The throw is wild, and it gets away. The first baseman, number 22, Josh Naylor. Here's Josh Naylor. First nope. offering, and it just misses. Count one and oh. Quan at second with two down. Hard hit, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for the Guardians. They're down here, five to one. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. Heron back to work. Just missed. There's a swing and a miss. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left handed breaking ball. Next pitch is downstairs. Left hand hitter waits. And a base hit into right center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. DeYoung in the box now. No balls and a strike. We're going to foul over the screen and back out of play. At the belt and fires. Gets a piece and it stays 0 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. The center fielder, number 28. Man at first, Kyle, Kyle Isbell Isbell. steps in for the Royals. One for two. Wouldn't chase that time. Ball. 
and that's a little high. The pitch. Not close with that one. Three balls, no strikes. And a strike on the outside edge. And there's ball four. Now batting. So up next, Michael Massey. A chance for more damage right here. A couple of RBIs for him in his last AB. High chopper to third. And that's just foul. You'll want. And a swing and a miss. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The one two. Slider misses outside. pitch and a foul ball he stays alive two on one out popped in the air left side infield and the infield fly, fly rule call they hand the ball over to a new arm Scott Barlow and he's had a struggle so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. And the batter now, Bobby Witt Jr. His two-run homer back in the third was an important swing of the bat in this one. Yeah, there's no doubt he helped set the tone fairly early and certainly part of the reason why they've got the lead right now. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. Safe at first, and now after the play, we'll check on the right-hander status. And now they'll hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Two outs, bases loaded. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. 0-1. Slider misses outside. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Eli Morgan getting ready to go. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Popped up. And that's the third out. A strong showing there from the Cleveland bullpen. We go to the bottom half of inning number six. And the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Royals five and the Guardians one. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Michael Lorenzen. He's been so good against lefties. Now pitching for the Royals. Stepping up for the Guardians, Will Brennan. Michael Lorenzen. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Action in the pen down there. Sam Long, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. There's the strike. Oh, and two. Three. 
sets him down on strikes. Fastball at the letters froze him for strike three. Well, just okay. couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And there's two down. Up next for Cleveland, the center fielder. Two outs, space is empty. Lane Thomas digs in for the Guardians. And fires in a fastball at 95. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. The pitch. That misses off the outside edge. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And he deals. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. So they go quietly there. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Royals five and the Guardians one. Here in Cleveland, new inning getting started. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals. Salvador Perez. The wind and the pitch. That one hit to right. Brennan on his way over. One away. The left field, number one. MJ Melendez, Melendez steps in for the Royals. One for three. And that's in the dirt. And that misses that's off the outside edge. Base is empty one away here at the top half of inning number seven. Two one now. Up the middle, Jimenez. Jump throw. Awesome play there. The right field, number 16, Hunter Renfro. Two outs, space is empty. And now it's going to be Hunter Renfro. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. All ones the count. Two down, nobody on. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And that keeps the inning alive. Now back, second base, Adam. Runner at first with two away. And to the play for Kansas City, Adam Frazier. First oh, pitch misses. Two outs and a foul ball. Righty to the plate. That's a base hit. So that's two straight two out hits. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. So two on with two away. And next up for the Royals, Paul DeYoung. And ball one. 
He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Renfro at second. Frazier on at first with two down. Next offering is in for a strike. I got one ball, one strike. And that skips into dirt. Two on, two outs. Still two and two after the foul ball. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Had him way out front of the slur. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Royals five and the Guardians one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the seventh. And here's the catcher, Bo Naylor. The right hander back to work. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. That's oh, a real nice cutter right there. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch at times, so I'd say that's pretty effective if you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. In plenty of time to first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. And up next for Rocchio. Cleveland, Brian Rocchio. And that's in for a strike. On the ground to third. DeYoung throws to first in time. And a couple of quick now, outs. Left That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. That pitch in for a strike. And it's 0-1. Not sure if he was expected for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Ball, Ball one there. That's hard hit in the line. And it goes just foul. And the pitch. And Two another ball. Swing and a miss and a change up in the dirt. Perez on to first. That completes the strikeout inning over. A new pitcher in the game, Eli Morgan. He last pitched two days ago. So up now for Kansas City, Kyle Isbell. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Kyle Isbell. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Morgan measures five feet ten inches 190 pounds and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2017 left hand batter waits foul ball it stays nothing in two here comes a pitch fights that one away and the count remains 0 and 2 Right-handed reliever. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 
So the Royals batting order turns over. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. Pitch is in there. Strike one. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Quan settles underneath it. And there's two away. Now batter. The short side. Now, Bobby Witt Jr. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. The shortstop takes a ball. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Foul ball. Ball to strike. The pitch. Nope. Inside. Ball two. He swings and fouls one off. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Two down, nobody on. That misses, and now it's three and two. That one is inside ball four, and I mean, oh, so close. You can stomach a two out walk to certain players, but with his speed, this guy out there in the base pass, it could turn into two or three bases. Pasquantino stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Witt off of first with two away. That misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Wouldn't chase that time. Salvador Perez up next. Right hander kicks deals. And that clips the inside corner. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. The throw to third. And the throws offline, safe at third. The catcher, number 13, Salvador Perez. Two gone with runners at the corners. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Corners are occupied with two down. That missed by a lot. And one and one. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Two outs. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Royals strand a pair. They lead this one, though, 5-1. Here in Cleveland, down the number two hitter, number 10. The designated hitter, Daniel Schneeman. Yeah, the right hitter back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. And it's fouled away. Oh, and two now. Ball, that's inside. In the air to left center. 
makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. The batter, the third baseman. At the plate, Jose Ramirez. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. That pitch gets the inside corner, and that is strike one. And there's a foul ball. The Royals leading by four here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Right side. Frazier on the first in time. And Ramirez is set now down. Batting. First baseman, Josh Naylor. Two outs, base is empty. Josh Naylor digs in for the Guardians. A former first round pick, and he's really turned into a nice everyday player. That's in there. That's strike one. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to hit. And the right hander deals. Nope. And now Excellent. one and two. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. That one missed. Yeah. And another ball. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. That one down the line and foul ball. And that'll get off into the seats. Payoff pitch. Bounced up the middle. Whip to first. And the inning is over. Guardians go down 1 2 3. They're down 5 1. Nick Sandlin on a pitch out of the pen here. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. And to the plate for Kansas City, M.J. Melendez. M.J. Melendez. And a pitch. And there's a ball. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One ball, one strike. Next offering is fouled back. That one back up the middle and it gets through. And the leadoff man aboard. And now the right fielder, Hunter Renfro. Wouldn't Count chase that time. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Let's get two here. And the righty deals. Right through there for a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Hunter Gaddis up and loosening in the pen.
the pitch. Outside. It's two and two. Runner at first with no outs here. That's to third, Ramirez. To second, there's one. Now to first, and it's a double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Two outs, bases empty. Adam Frazier getting ready to hit. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Ahead 0-2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Two down, nobody on. Got him swinging. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Royals five and the Guardians one. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Sam Long. And he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year, typically at least one an inning, so he'll be tough to get to. Will Brennan digs in for the Guardians. Over three with two strikeouts and a ground out. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And that is in for a strike going on. Slider misses outside. Swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off One speed ball. there. Two strikes. The two next balls. offering misses. Two balls, two strikes. Really good two strike pitch right there. Surprised he was able to spit on that thing. Two two on the way. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a cold strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. So man aboard. Now it's going to be Andres Jimenez. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Got a good eye there. And another ball. Kicks and deals. Fought off foul. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Ball three. And that one upstairs. Three balls, one strike. Come on, it now. Left field. And just foul. Payoff pitch to the right side. Frazier gathers and throws to first. One out, bottom of the ninth. The center fielder, number eight. He's two outs away. So in now for Cleveland, Lane Thomas. A strikeout and a walk.
lifted in the air right field Renfro getting an angle on it. makes the grab runner tags at second and he moves up to third now two away now batting catcher Bo Naylor. last out for the Guardians in this one Bo Naylor the next to hit And that one wrapped foul. Two outs and a runner at third. Here the last half of inning number nine. That's down and in. At the belt and fires. Swings and misses. That is strike two. Two strikes. Long is just one strike away. Got him. That finishes the evening's action. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.